Hello artists, how are you today? Stephanie once again coming to you here from the banks of the Trinity River. So here I'm starting out with a piece of deli sheet and um, okay let's talk about this real quick. I decided to draw this hummingbird instead of doing a uh, gesso transfer on it. So I did a small circle for the head, I made the beak, I did a larger circle for the body, smaller circle for um, kind of the back end of the body and uh, I'm just drawing here with my Stabilo. I do like to draw with the Stabilo because it is such a nice soft pencil and um, I really loved the shape of the hummingbird of this image. I was gonna do a gesso transfer but I thought you know it might be really cool to do just a paper collage and to show you guys how to do that. And uh, so I have kind of a basic outline here and I am cutting it out of this deli paper. Now, you do not need to use deli paper for this. I am only using this because I had this beautiful gold painted piece of paper. You could use standard copy paper in doing something like this and it would probably work better because of the fact that um, this being a transparent paper um, meant that I had to build it up a little bit. And here I'm just kind of fine tuning um, the shapes and continuing to cut it out. Um, I have my reference photo right there so that I can really see uh, the shape that I, I'm looking for. And, you know, I just want something that, that has a similar feeling to it. Now, I was originally kind of thinking of that hummingbird because that kind of reminded me of a floral pattern. But if you look at this blue one, of course, you go with the uh, complement, with the opposite on the color wheel, you get the most vibrancy. So I decided to go with this blue background. So it's my storming thunder hummingbird. I, I really do um, love how this one came out. Now I'm trying to be quite careful because um, since Stabilo is underneath of that and I drew it reversed uh, basically uh, so that I could have it sit this way. Um, I wanted it to face into the center of the book. Um, but the Stabilo was on that back side of it, right? So as soon as you add any liquid to it, that Stabilo is going to come out. So I tried to be careful about um, wiping the glue from the center outwards when I was putting down my collage piece. So now what I'm just kind of doing is gluing down pieces of gold paper. Now, again, it doesn't have to be a deli sheet. You could just put some gold paint on some regular copy paper and it'll work just as well. You could also do something like this with scrapbook paper or basically anything that has a gold tint to it. And it doesn't have to be gold. I mean, of course, that was just what I chose for this. Um, I just thought it would be fitting for it. So here I'm just continuing to glue down little pieces of paper and I, I feel like the um, center, the body of the bird is a little bit too um, transparent. So I do decide to build up some more pieces in there and uh, I'm just taking little slivers of, of paper and cutting it. Here I'm showing you the, the center part of the bird. I'm just building it up slowly. This is a very puttery project, but um, you know, you can always go off the internet and uh, you know, you could print out a bird silhouette and do it very simply that way, you know. Um, you don't have to freehand draw it. Uh, 
I, I chose to freehand it because I wanted to um, practice it. So here I'm just building up the wings and trying to get some nice little curly cues in there, which is very difficult with cut paper. So, you know, just just playing with it for um, it, this project did take me, mm, I would say, at least 45 minutes to get completed. So, uh, and of course, that's with having that background done. And if you're interested in seeing how I did the background, definitely jump over to the series playlist, the April Background Challenge. That was one of the first ones that I did. It was with uh, Arteza Acrylic. So here I am taking my Stabilo and uh, my real brush pen. And this is actually in real time. So, you know, I speed up the videos so you guys can really see um, a lot in a short time. But, you know, these, these projects do take me a lot of time. And I am very careful about where I, uh, I lay down my my marks and my pieces of paper so you know don't think that these get done in 15 minutes because they don't they're they're works of art and uh, artwork is supposed to take a long time it doesn't have to of course it doesn't have to take forever but you know the craftsmanship is important so here I'm just defining the bird body a little bit more and I'm trying to pull out um, a few more of the curlies. Um, you know, the, the reference photo I had had a lot of curly cues to it. and I was just trying to bring that out more. But I think this project turned out really cool. Um, and remember, it's, it's mainly just cut paper. So I hope you try something like it. And if you do, definitely show us over at Missy Hand Band of Artists. Okay, guys, uh, we're about at the end here, so I hope you have a great day. Thank you so much for tuning in. Be sure to like, comment, 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 subscribe if you haven't. Thanks so much. Bye.